Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy. I'm one of the owners here at Paragon Performance, and this is New Products November. First up, we have the 20 millimeter spacers from Paragon Performance. Now these are our spacers that we had designed in-house. We scanned the hub area and then went to work and tried 15 millimeter, 18 millimeter, and 20 millimeter spacers in order to pull that tire out and make it flush on the car. We ended up with 20 mil. That was the best fitment we had found when on the car looking visibly at it from the side and above. Uh, these spacers come with their own studs on them. So you install like we've done here. You go on the car, the stock stud with the nuts we provide, and then you have your new studs that your wheels bolt to. Everything goes right on. It's hub centric. It's the correct size for the car. So you're not gonna have any type of play uh, no bearing issues or anything like that happens with wheel spacers. It's a very common mod in the Euro market where guys have BMWs um, and even in the Corvette market, C7 life. Um, you know, you buy a nice set of factory wheels like the black tridents and you want to use those wheels. These will push them out and almost make them look like an aftermarket wheel with the stance that they provide. So really simple mod, really easy to do, totally reversible, totally safe, forged 6061 aluminum, ready to go. Next up, we've got the Paragon lowering collars. Uh, these are for front lift cars that don't have the option. When you have a Z51 car, the coilovers that are in the front are not there. So you need a way to lower that front of the vehicle. And these lowering collars will do that. They approximately lower the front of the car an inch. They're super easy to install. We have on our product page, there's an instruction link. It's got a PDF and we have a YouTube video there. They both show you how easy they are to install. You can do them yourself at home with basic tools. Now these collars were designed in-house here. We did, again, we 3D scanned this whole area. We developed it in SolidWorks. We 3D printed some different options, test fit those on the car. Then we went to production with this unit here that does the almost one inch of lowering. And then we've been testing this on our car. Um, race tracks went to Road America, bounced off curbs, did a bunch of street driving. Everything's held up solid. This is a really simple way to get to your car a little bit lower. Next up, we have brake pads from Carbotech. They have many options out there, so if you're a track guy, they're gonna have track pads for you. Uh, we stock all the track pads here, so if you need one overnight, we'll got you covered. And most of you guys are just street driving your car, so what we've got here is the 1521 Carbotech pad. Uh, a lot of people complain about the amount of brake dust that hits this car and gets on your wheels. Uh, the OEM pad is an all organic compound, so that's what's creating all that dust. This 1521 is a, it's a hybrid, it's ceramic and organic. So the ceramic in it is going to reduce the dust substantially. Um, a lot of our customers have tried these already and rave about how little dust they do leave compared to the OEM. So if you're looking for an easy way to keep your car clean, grab a set of the Carbotech 1521s. All right, next up for the Z51 cars, we have Gyrodis two-piece rotors. These are for the Z51 cars only, and they are gonna help increase track performance and also street cred because they do look really good on the car. On track, they're gonna help the gas that creates between the rotor and the pad itself escape when that slot comes around. Uh, we've noticed a substantial increase on track ourselves, and they also look great uh, for the street guys when you have a Z51, you should have a rotor that complements it instead of that blank rotor. You are gonna save some weight up front. You save three pounds, I believe, each corner, so six total. And out back, you're gonna save five pounds per corner, so 10 pounds of rotational mass is gonna disappear there. Super easy mod, looks great on the car. Check it out. Another Z51 specific mod are the spanner wrenches. These are used on the rear collars of the Z51 car in order to lower it down, get you that 0.75 inch that the factory allows you to lower your car. You didn't get them when you bought your car, so we made a set in-house, laser cut aluminum, super easy to use, makes the job five, 10 minutes tops. And now we're at the back of the car and we're at probably the cheapest mod you can do to your C8 right now and one that I think actually makes the car look the best is we have our overlays for the rear taillights. We have the main indicator ones, the reflector ones, and we also have the side ones. And these are super easy to install. They're a dark tint or a smoke. They come pre-cut for you. Install them on. If you don't like them, you just peel them back off. Uh, but they are great. Visibility is still really good as you can see. That blinker's going fine. And if you look real hard in the video, there's another prototype item that's also blinking. We'll talk about next month. Next up, we have our Paragon Pucks. This is another product we designed in-house, 3D printed, and then have CNC here in the US. 
made out of T6061 aluminum again. This is called the Paragon Puck. It is good for letting your car not fall off the dealership lift or yourself at home. They're super easy to install. They're gonna come with hardware. They can either permanently install on your jack points or temporary install, which we show instructions on how to do that on our website. And it makes it super easy to spot your lift points for anybody. The bright red screams, put a jack here. Don't put it up through my side skirt. The other good aspect of this Paragon Puck is once it's on the lift, you have created a, I guess, a buffer between the pad and your car. If you look at the side without the puck, you notice that it's harder for the, the tech to align it because the, the pads are so big themselves, you can actually still come in contact with the body or an under tray or maybe miss it. Um, the puck itself gives them a nice centering spot and is just tall enough that you're not gonna run into the body or in your side skirt. And the other bonus of this puck is we designed it in a thickness that you can leave on your car and still not worry about hitting a speed bump with or anything like that. If your puck hits a speed bump, you have more than bottomed out your entire car. All right, our first performance mod in this whole new products November is a AFE air filter. They release two different kinds. There's an oiled version and the Pro Dry. What we have here is the Pro Dry, which means there's no oil on it. This filter is washable and reusable. The OEM filter is not washable and reusable. The AFE will increase airflow by 27%. And I've been driving around our other street car this whole week, and you do notice an increase in suction noise right by your ear. Uh, it's already kind of there via stock, uh, but it's definitely pronounced with the AFE filter. Super easy install. We've got a how-to on our product page. Check it out. Next up, I know these aren't new, but we do have AWE exhaust in stock in chrome or black tip. These have been out for a few months now, but they've been really hard to get just due to stocking. We're stocking them here now. All options are in stock. As of right now, that could change by the time you've seen this video, but they're here, they're ready to ship. Second to last, we have BBS wheels for the C8. There are three options. There is a black, a, a platinum, they call it, and then the bronze. The bronze is not yet released. It's supposed to be out sometime this month, so give that a couple more weeks to show up in stock on the website. We stock these here. It's an affordable option for your C8, a little more aggressive offset and the price on these shipped is between $2,800 and $3,000 to your door. Uh, not many wheels in that price range for the C8, so an affordable option to make your car stand out in stock. All right, last but not least, we have headers from American Racing and AFE. We're gonna roll a bunch of B-roll while I talk here because there's a lot of different versions. American Racing has two different versions. They have an inch and seven eighths runners to a three inch collector, and then they have a two inch runner to a three inch collector. Uh, both those dyno readings and power figures are on our website. We got video from them. Um, the car's sound changes dramatically with a set of headers. It's probably my favorite mod to do um, with an exhaust, of course. And as, as tuning comes out, you're gonna get even more power out of these. You'll be able to bolt them up now, gain some power, and then when tuning solutions are out, hopefully sometime in 2021, you're gonna grab even more power and already have the mod done. So. Check those out. Uh, we have the AFE headers. They have three different versions. Uh, they're all the same runner sizes, collectors. Um, there's a brushed option, which is basically the same as the non-polished option, but you can see the writing on the pipe from when it got bent. And then they have a ceramic coated version. That's gonna help keep exhaust temps up inside the runners and also help shield that heat from getting in the engine bay. Uh, something else to note on the AFE that is not done on the American Racing is AFE has two O2 bungs on theirs. So it's kind of, it's gonna come with a plug for one of them because you're only gonna put in your factory O2 sensor in one of those. But in the future, if, or if you want to now, you can insert a, you know, an aftermarket wideband sensor in the other one. That's gonna be used for tuning in the future or just peace of mind on yourself if you're on track, making sure that things are staying where they should be. A lot of good options. We keep these in stock, ready to go at all times. And that's it for New Products November, guys. We are gonna finish up the prep work that we need to do here on the white car for NOLA Motorsports Park, which we are heading to this weekend. We're gonna be testing our Hyperco Springs, which are coming out, and we're gonna be testing a couple different brake solutions so we can help you track guys pick the right parts when you call in, so. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll talk to you in December. By allowing the exhaust gases, they're not, jeez oh Louise.
There's no exhaust coming out of the brakes. We have all the headers. I'll, I'll do it again. Okay. I'll use that one. They are used to lower the beer, the beer of the car, the beer, the beer.